Hello, this is W Copeland 38, and today I want to give a kind of a brief review on how flashlights have evolved for law enforcement and security. I worked uh, in law enforcement for about 23 years and have since retired. The one thing I had, did notice was how the sizes of the flashlights over the period of time have changed from extremely large down to the micro size and they actually get this one gives out just as much light as the large one. Now this one is one of the original stream lights. It's around 18 inches long and is very heavy but it gives out an extremely bright light and it's capable of shedding that light for probably a full city block effectively. You can eliminate house numbers and things like that. Let you get a nice look at it. These are the charging, the on off button, it's the charging lights. It does not have an adjustable lens, it's all fixed. It's got a solid battery on the inside. Here's the battery end cap, and it's replaceable. At this time, I believe they run about $50. And at the time, it was one of the best things you could get. Aside from being just a flashlight, if you really needed to, which we didn't encourage or anything, it could be used as, as a self-defense weapon. Now that's pretty long, as you can see. It's pretty good size. Well, over a period of years, they got away from the heavy one, and Streamlight came out with the Stinger. Let's see if you can see that there. Mm, there we go. Streamlight Stinger. There you go. Now this one is, of course, almost half the length. But it gives out an extremely bright light also. It's rechargeable. It's got the charging ends right down here. Plugs into regular household current. And it's got an adapter for a vehicle. It's real nice. It's got good gripping on it. End caps where it's falling on the ground, and there's the end where the battery goes in. The lasting time really depends on how well you take care of it. If you take good care and make sure you fully charge and discharge the battery, it can get the average one of the batteries with regular use, like I used every day, lasts probably about a year, and that's about it. Because in the field of work that I was in, you're going to be using your flashlight every day and the bulb on this is as bright as this one in a minute when I get done I'll give you a little demonstration of how bright it is it's nice it's got good good serrations on the handle it's, it's easy to grip and it's easy to keep control of kinda of dirty but that's the way it goes okay now I just picked up the newest in the lines of tactical lights. This is a Smith & Wesson tactical light. It's a delta light. There's the bulb. It also has a non-adjustable lens. It's got an on-off that's controlled through the cap and through the end button. If you screw it out far enough it won't reach and that way it won't be activated while it's in your flashlight holder. It's got really good I don't know what they call this stippling in here and it's nice and rough you can get a real good feel for it. Let me give you a nice little close-up of this dude. There we go. And there's the lens. And this is as bright as either one of these two. And I'll give you a little quick demonstration on that. There's the end that you depress to activate the flashlight. And it's been really interesting to me how the flashlights have evolved. The Smith & Wesson came with this holder. It's got room for spare batteries. Adequate. It's got the regular Velcro grip on it. The Stinger had to pick up this. It's a snap. goes on a good size 2 inch utility belt 
and not too much to be said about that but the regular regular leather that was used in uh, law enforcement or security okay now I want to give you a little demonstration of how bright the lights are first I'm going to show the stream light okay and I'm going to compare that to the stinger. Now one's way larger than the other and the lights are equal brightness. Okay? Now Now I'm going to show you the difference between the stinger and the Smith & Wesson. This is the tactical light for the Smith & Wesson. Okay. And now here's the Stinger. Just about equal brightness except this one is about 20 ounces lighter and this one, and not very obviously much shorter, but you have the same quality of light. Actually, this one's a little bit brighter. It's got, I believe it's got the halogen bulb. Okay, it's quite a difference, and it's, this one's a lot easier to hold on to than this one. Now, turn that off. And I'll turn this off. Now let's show you a difference between this one and the Smith & Wesson, the tactical. There's a tactical light and the one that's about three times larger and a whole lot heavier. Pretty good. The technology's come a long way. A long way in this time. And believe me, I'd much rather run around with this bad boy all day long than this older brother because this is way less than half the weight of its original Big Daddy. These are real nice, but what I uh, find quite nice is how the technology has come along in the time since I first started working in law enforcement. And I wish we'd have had this back then instead of uh, the other one. But time is worth waiting for. And it's a really good deal, but just kind of a little short video of how the flashlights have evolved. This is W. Copeland 38. You have a good day now. Bye-bye.